How's it going everybody? Adam Repos Vox here with a quick tutorial. Now, I've been posting a lot of my reviews over on Amazon.com. I've actually been building a reviewer profile. Here you can see I have over 400 reviews up on Amazon.com since that is one of the biggest, you know, online retail places. That might be a place I want to get my reviewer self in front of people. Uh, and an issue I've run into is what you can see in this video right here is my videos get super compressed. They get super artifacty and just get screwed up. And there have been some reviews that just outright like don't even show up. Like it'll have a green screen or a flicker all over the place and stuff. And that's because Amazon servers, despite the fact that they have amazing like CDN servers to distribute video, the way that they handle uh, the videos for the reviews, that way they're, you know, viewable by everyone is they trash the hell out of it with compression. And then I was checking out some reviews from my buddy Dookie what and I was looking at it like and like his, his his video looks fine it doesn't look like it's getting trashed that much you can see some blockiness every once in a while but it looks totally fine so I reached out to him and wanted to see how the hell he was pulling that off and it turns out that you really have to lower the resolution like way more than I thought so I'm going to show you how to set up an Amazon review uh, sequence and render template so that you can use that moving forward because this or the settings I have been using were 720p, just at a low bit rate, whereas usually my videos are at 4K. But it looks like the resolution that you should be using are way lower. So you can see here, this is part of that $40 YouTube kit video that I did. And I have the main $40 YouTube kit sequence, but then I divided up uh, cl highlight clips for the specific products that I reviewed. So that way, the quality came out a little better. Now these are, I believe, 720p sequences. Yeah, I went ahead and made these 720p sequences, but even then, apparently that wasn't a significant enough jump. So what I'm gonna do is make a new sequence to throw this in here. So you have your clips, or if you are if you already edited like a normal review like this, you can just drag the sequence in and nest it. So I'm gonna make a new sequence here. And for sequence presets, I'm actually gonna make a new one. So I'm gonna go over here to settings, and whatever frame rate you normally edit at 24 or 30 is going to be fine. If you do 60 FPS, the player cannot handle it. So if you normally are doing a 60 FPS video, you need to make your Amazon preset 30 FPS. Just it does not like higher than 30 FPS video. Uh, but instead of 3840 by 2160, the resolution is actually going to be 480 by 270. That is a ridiculously low resolution. It's still 16 by 9. So it's still the right aspect ratio, but it is super super downscaled and then again the same frame rate you have all the other settings should be fine um, maximum render quality for sure should be enabled because you're scaling the footage so low you want the highest quality scaling possible uh, but then go ahead and save that preset amazon and then from now on when i'm when i'm making nested sequences for my amazon reviews i can just choose that one 480 by 270 and then i'll just call this tripod amzn 2 and you just drag in your original sequence. However, you would normally, you know, make a copy of that review for Amazon. Just drag the copy in. And you can see, of course, it is totally zoomed in. Uh, so then what you need to do is because of, if you don't have default scale to frame size enabled, I don't. So then it has 100%. So then if I right click the clip and go to set to frame size, then it zooms it back out so that it's the right size. Just a very, very low resolution. Uh, then. You can make sure it works, it's going to work, uh, but things will be a lot less, you know, crazy pixelated and stuff on Amazon's end. So then you need to set up a render profile for that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Control M for render settings. And then under H.264, I have an Amazon setting as well. And again, 480 by 270, same frame rate, or you can set, check match source uh, to match it to whatever frame rate you're editing at the time. Again, don't do 60 FPS. It won't like it. I tried that. Uh, but then for bit rate, uh, you kind of have some leeway here. Uh, again, they are super compressing it, so the closer you can get your file to what they compress, it will make it work a little bit better. That's usually counterintuitive, but that seems to be working here. Uh, I'm going to go with about a target bit rate of 3 megabits per second with a max bit rate of 8. And that tends to be what I've been uploading at. And I will show you the original versus the newly uploaded copy. And you can judge for yourself whether you know it was worth it. And if I end up tweaking the bitrate again from here, I'm still experimenting at the time, but I wanted to go ahead and show you the big, the resolution jump and not doing 60 FPS or, you know, higher than 30 basically is the most important part. But you also don't want to feed it a super high bitrate because their encoder just doesn't know what to do with it. And then, of course, you do want to save that preset 
I'm gonna call this Amazon two or Amazon review so I can delete out my old preset and then I'll go ahead and export this out and it should show up on their site a little bit better. It won't be hashtag sharp or hashtag team crispy or anything like that because it's dirty low resolution, but their encoder should handle it better. I hope this tutorial tutorial was helpful for you. If it was, smash the like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos. Come check out my Amazon profile where I've reviewed over 400 products. Mark the reviews as helpful if you like them. Helps me out. Come give me a follow, things like that, and I'll see you next time.